viewer discretion is advised. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is on Ricky Lee Green. The FBI once considered Ricky Lee Green more dangerous than Ted Bundy. He was officially connected to only four murders, but suspected of being responsible for many others. Ricky met his first victim, Jeffrey Davis, in Fort Worth, Texas. Ricky invited Davis to go along for a ride with him during one of his frequent drunk driving sprees, but when the ride came to an end, he stabbed him and castrated him. He left Davis nearly decapitated in a swamp in the Fort Worth Nature Center. Davis was only 16 years old at the time of his grisly murder that April in 1985. Six months later, in October, he killed 28-year-old dancer Betty Monroe with a knife and hammer. Ricky spotted her hitchhiking and pulled over to give her a ride. The woman got in and told Ricky her name was Montana. Ricky offered her a chance to take a shower at his place and have a menage a trois with him and his wife. She agreed and off they went. After they were finished, he took her into the bathroom and sodomized her. His wife came in and stabbed her and then Ricky got a knife and stabbed her repeatedly before leaving again. This time he returned with a hammer which he hit her in the head with until she was dead. Then Ricky and his wife had sex in the pool of blood. Sandra Bailey was the couple's next victim, and they did almost the exact same thing as before, before throwing her body in a ditch when they were all done. Ricky's final victim was Stephen Pfefferman, who he met in Fort Worth. The two went to Stephen's home, where Stephen began to fondle Ricky in the living room. Stephen then excused himself to take a shower and upon returning found Ricky in the bedroom. Ricky suggested that they take turns tying each other up. After he tied him up, he went to the kitchen and got a knife. He returned and told him he hated homosexuals. Then he started stabbing him while Pfefferman remained tied up. Then he untied him and like field dressing a deer, he cut him open with his, from his sternum to his crotch before cutting off his penis. As Pfefferman gasped for breath, Green shoved it into Pfefferman's mouth and left him there to die in agony. Green was charged with murdering Pfefferman and sentenced to death in 1990. Executioners had trouble finding a suitable vein because of Ricky's intravenous drug abuse. Before gasping for his own last breaths, he told everyone to remember that he had been a model prisoner on death row. Green also had time to address four relatives of his victims. He said he was really sorry, but this to me is another killing and it's not going to solve nothing. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. What paranormal or crime related mystery would you like to see next? I hope you all have a great day.